Jimmy Garoppolo seemingly is unavailable for more games than he's available in his NFL career. To be fair, when he's been available, a lot of those teams, specifically there with the 49ers, have been successful, but he is no longer there. They have given up on the Jimmy Garoppolo project. They're moving forward, and Jimmy G in the offseason came over and signed with the Raiders. But there was some holdup to the deal, a big signing bonus that got converted over to salary. People wondering what's going on. Well, it was revealed that Jimmy Garoppolo had foot surgery after signing with the Raiders. And that also means that Jimmy Garoppolo has failed his Raiders physical. Before he signed this contract, he failed his physical. People are looking into these things. They're realizing now that the Raiders actually have no commitment to Jimmy Garoppolo because uh, he has yet to pass a physical. The Raiders, if he doesn't pass this physical by the beginning of the season, they're free to basically just cut him no strings attached whenever they want, um, which is kind of a big deal when it comes to your quarterback position. Now, the Raiders just got rid of Derek Carr. They shipped him off. Uh, they signed Brian Hoyer to be, I guess, the backup for Jimmy Garoppolo. But it has also, again, started some rumors, Beardo, about yep. a different guy, a different former New England quarterback who has recently become involved with the Raiders, Tom Brady. Tom Brady replacing Jimmy G with the $22.5 million on the line. Garoppolo's failed physical has ignited TB12 unretirement rumors. The Jimmy Garoppolo sin doesn't seem to end anytime soon. His tryst with injuries has always been a matter of discussion. While he's acquired by the Raiders, fans have been worried about his health, especially after management delayed his press conference. Although the Raiders' top brass denied all these rumors, recent developments have strengthened the notion. To make matters worse, as per PFT, Jimmy's 11 and a half, well, 11 and a quarter million salary bonus was shifted to base salary uh, to the, bring this yearly, this year's payout to 22 and a half million, which he won't get in case he fails to clear physical tests. As a result, fans are now vouching for new owner Tom Brady to come back and lead the team as a starting quarterback. Now, you had to know that this was going to happen. Right? You had to know that these rumors were going to start. Anytime there's going to be any opening, people are going to be talking about Tom Brady. But especially now, obviously Josh McDaniels, the head coach, he just signed on to become part owner in the Raiders. And now this. What's your gut feeling behind Jimmy Garoppolo with these new details basically showing that the Raiders aren't on the line for anything that can kind of cut Jimmy loose if these injury things do not do not heal themselves up? What do you think about this, Beardo? Uh, financially, it's good, I guess. But as far as like on the field, like Jimmy G, I think is vastly you know, uh, an improvement over Brian Hoyer. I think he's about a wash when it comes to Derek Carr. I think trading Derek Carr and then signing Jimmy G, that's pretty much a wash. But but they would love to have Jimmy G on the field over Brian Hoyer. Uh, but. My gut feeling is that Jimmy G, with time, he probably will end up passing his physical. Uh, but if he doesn't, and they can walk away with no cost, uh, that'd be good financially. But who the hell are you going to get? You really think that Tom Brady is going to uh, going to come back and play play for the Raiders? I know that he's been, you know, that was one of the destinations. That was one of the teams for the past several years, even leaving New England. Is he going to go to San Francisco? Is he going to go to is he going to go to the Chargers or is he going to go to the Raiders and then ultimately ends up in Tampa Bay? But even then, like there's still been rumors about him going to the Raiders this past offseason before he retired. Uh, so. I get it. I get why people would be, especially now with his new involvement with the Raiders' own ownership. Uh, I guess time will tell, man. Yeah, I don't think these rumors are going to slow down anytime soon. I, no. I certainly don't think. Now, now that this is out there, the Tom Brady stuff's only going to heat up. I don't know how realistic it is uh, for Tom Brady to come back and play for the Raiders. But I will say this. I don't understand what the Raiders are doing. I, I, I don't understand moving off Derek Carr. I think if you tell me... All things equal, a toss-up. Who would I want as my quarterback, Jimmy G or Derek Carr? I'm going to say Derek Carr. Now, I, I certainly think Jimmy Garoppolo could be successful, but he has to have a lot of pieces around him. Look right. at what the 49ers were able to do with Brock Purdy, right? The, the reason that those things are happening is because of that complete team. Uh, when you look at offensively, when you look at their scheme, when you look at their skill position players, like th that's why they have been so successful there. So to to just be like, oh, Jimmy Garoppolo, guaranteed you're going to plug him in and be successful. I just don't think that's the case because the 49ers have shown you can plug a lot of people in there other than Trey Lance. 
and, right. <laughs> and have a very, very productive team that's going to challenge for Super Bowls, basically, as long as, you know, they, these guys stay healthy. So yeah. uh, I, I don't really know what the plan is there. Obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo can't be considered a long-term fix. The Raiders also had potential to do something in the draft to move up from, what, were they seven spot in the draft, something like that? Right. They made no indication that any interest in moving up for any of these potential quarterbacks. So what are you doing in, with the Raiders? If you, if you move off a guy like Derek Carr, the presumption is that you're, you're going to try to you know, rebuild this team. But I, just, I, I don't know what Josh McDaniels and I don't w- know what the plan is right now with this iteration of the Las Vegas Raiders. I think they can be a fine team if Jimmy Garoppolo is healthy and it is back. But right now, what that's was- a big question mark. What was the size of uh, his contract? How many years? It's like three or four years or something like that? Did he sign with the Raiders? Yeah. I'd have to check and see what the length was. Uh, let me check while you're talking. I think it was like three or four years. Um, and in that time, yeah, you can see what you do have with Jimmy G. And then, you know, in the next few years, if they didn't like anybody in this draft, they can draft somebody or maybe go out for another veteran. Uh, but But you're right. You know, if Jimmy G isn't a long-term solution, then... What the hell are you doing? Yeah, so it's a three-year contract uh, worth $48.5 million with 45 initially guaranteed. But again, that 11 and a quarter million signing bonus was converted into salary for this first game. So if it, 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 they can potentially just cut him loose and not owe him shit. Yeah. That's that's one of the big reveals of this these new contract details. So I don't know, man. Uh, Raiders, Raiders future, definitely a big old question mark at that quarterback position for Josh McDaniels right now. So hypothetically, if Brady did unretire, he's still under contract with Tampa. Tampa would have to trade him to the Raiders. Correct. Yeah. 